Hello! Hi. Hi. Welcome right. everybody. Thanks for joining us. It starts now. This is it. And you know what? It is long awaited. We are so happy to be back at Berlin Photo Week for our um, annual awards. Nicholas, tell yes. us more. Thank you for joining. We will introduce you tonight to our special and unique six categories in photography, our best mobile photo award and the most awaited moment, our photographer of the year award. It really has been a long couple of years and I think for me personally working on the awards this year, we have just seen how important photography really, really is. You know, we've seen stories from all over the world be submitted and for us, that is the most powerful thing. At IM, we love photography, and what we love even more is empowering photographers. So, we had, let me start with the jury. We had an incredible jury this year, experts in their field from every part of the photography industry. With over 300,000 submissions, we want to thank them for helping us finding the best images that stood out this year. They're representing all areas of photography and Another special thank, thank you to Fabiana, who's joining us upstairs, and uh, Lauren, our in-house curators and jury members as well. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> it is not an easy task going through that many amazing photographs. And I tell you what else isn't easy, is trying to rally the photographers together. And so we know we could not have done it without the support of our partners and our sponsors. So before we go any further into the celebration, we want to say a very special thanks to MPB, our premium sponsor this year, who really made our vision possible. We would not have been able to do it without them. So thank you, MPB. We would also love to thank our exhibition sponsor, White Wall. So we had an amazing Thursday night at our opening night at the exhibition over in Rattenhallen, which is one of East Berlin's most iconic venues. And we were able to really celebrate those photographs because when you see them really printed on the wall, it really makes all the difference. So thank you so much, White Wall. Beyond White Wall and MPB, we had a whole community of sponsors and partners that were able to back us this year, really covering all parts of the industry. And so we just want to say thank you so, so much. As I say, we would not have been able to do it without you. So Thanks to all the sponsors. <laughs> so, without further ado, let us jump right into the six categories. The first one, do you want to... Present. I would love to introduce the storyteller. For me, this is my favorite category. It's something that we've done before. It's not new to us as a category in the IM Awards, but this year we decided to make it a little bit different. So we started to bring together some of the most well-established genres in photography into just one category. So the storyteller covers photojournalism, travel photography, as well as street photography. And the real goal for us was about uncovering stories around the world. So we saw, as I say, you know, photographers from literally every corner, places that, you know, I know I would never travel to. And again, just highlighting the, the diversity and the power of photography, that we're able to see stories in places that we would never go ourselves. And we saw some incredible, incredible submissions. So we had a total of 60,000 submissions. That's quite a high number. <laughs> Let's jump into the 10 finalists. 
Anne Bolze from Germany, Fabian Schmiedelecher from Austria, Henry from England, Beata from Romania, Marie Simanova from Russia, Caroline Views from South Africa, Lenny Ruiz from, from Buenos Aires, Argentina, Ezequiel Oanya from the Philippines, Jeremy John from Berlin, and Katerina Mavrodi from Russia. This again is an overview of our 10 finalists, and I'm happy to show you the three finalists and the winner. The third place in the category The Storyteller goes to <laughs> the anticipation. <laughs> Third place goes to Beata Angelosi. Congratulations. The second place for the category storyteller goes to Fabian Schmiedelecher. And the winner of the category the storyteller is Marie Simanova with this great image. Now, as Marie wasn't able to join us, I want us to go and give another round of applause because she is watching on the live stream right now. So congratulations, congratulations. <laughs> All right, next up next is category. The Architect, sponsored by White Wall. So The Architect for us this year also looked very, very different. It's something, um, again, a category we've seen come and go over the years. But this year, we understood that you know, our world looked different. I think that's something we can all relate to. And those four walls suddenly became much, much thinner and much smaller than they maybe ever have before. So this year, The Architect was really about discovering maybe the unseen things that we walk past every day. So really um, rediscovering the built environment, what it meant to be in a communal space versus a private space, and just seeing how photographers um, can really understand that brief and look at architecture very, very differently. With, again, over 53,000 submissions, let, us show, let me show you the 10 finalists. Fajar from Indonesia. Maria from England. Nika Pailozzi from Georgia. George Krustalis from England. Kilo Swak from the United States. Sartoris Bugas from Greece. Piotr Semlak from Wrocław. Vitali Tuyuk living in China. Honda Yoshiko from Japan. Eva Tsai from China. These, again, are the ten finalists. You know what I love is how different they are. Every single image takes a completely, completely different approach. It's very cool. And it's a very difficult choice. But here's the third place for the category the architect. goes to Honda Yoshiko. <laughs> the second place for the architect goes to Eva Tsai with this great image. And the winner of the category, the architect, goes to George Krustalis. Woo -hoo! Nice. He can't be here tonight as well, but he left us a message. Hey guys, I'm really happy to be doing this. My name is George Krustalis, and I'm a creative director and photographer based in London, originally from Greece. Most of my work happens where uh, architecture fashion and design meet. This image comes from my latest photo editorial series called Utopia Sisters, and it explores the beauty of form, structure and texture at the intersection of fashion and architecture. I view these two disciplines as sisters, and I'm focused on uh, drawing parallels between them. My intention was to craft a sense of stillness and optimism and imagine an idyllic future, an idyllic landscape where creative disciplines are no longer separated and work together to improve the human experience as much as possible. Uh, I wish I was there. I want to thank all of you so much for this award. I'm feeling really privileged 
and I hope you enjoy the rest of the awards. Bye. Thank you. The next category, the environmentalist. So we would love to invite Natalie to come up on stage, who is representing MPB. She heads up their marketing there. And the environmentalist for us was a very, very exciting, but a very challenging category. The brief really was very broad, and what we got back was also a huge variety. Natalie, if you'd like to come on up and tell us a little bit more about what the environmentalist is all about. Good evening, creative <laughs> community. So for me, it's really an honor to be part of it um, and that we did have the chance to uh, sponsor the environmentalists this year. I also would like to thank um, Fabiana and Ellen to set up this um, category extra for us. So thank you very much. It's really a pleasure. Thank you so much. What is it that made it so important for you, this category of the environmentalists? So... Um, for MPB, sustainability in general is very important, so um, we, we uh, circulate 300 uh, kit pieces every year, so camera and lenses, so uh, because you don't always need to uh, buy a new kit, you yeah. can also buy a used kit, which is even a couple of years um, old, and then uh, we give uh, one camera from one creative hand to the next and extend uh, the lifetime of this fantastic camera and people can have fun with it and create um, different kind of stories with it. And uh, for us, the uh, environmentalist is um, very important because it shows um, life on earth and mm -hmm. the, um, yeah, those who inhabited it. And we wanted also, like you said, it was very challenging. So um, the results were really uh, different. Uh, so every pitch, picture was amazing. We got like, uh, you will show it in a minute, like so many pictures back. Mm -hmm. And um, our social through. media manager, Vanessa, and I, we had to um, yeah, find a short list out of 150 pictures. And we took hours for it because one picture was more amazing than the <laughs> other one. It was really yeah. like, wow, this yeah. was really fun. Absolutely. So thank you to all submitters. That's great. Let's go through the 10 finalists. Yeah. And then you can help me to present the, the winners. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. So for the category, the environmentalists, again, we had 46,000 submissions, as yeah. you just mentioned. That's, that's, again, a lot. The 10 finalists are Hiroshi Kai from Japan, Jairo Diaz from Tenerife, Yohur Burio from Belarus, Ahmad Shaimi from Malaysia, Harsh Ravi Praik from India, Jeremy John from Berlin, Jan Varnir from Russia, Saiful Islam from Bangladesh, Luca Epifani from Italy, Abdullah from Russia. Again, these are the ten finalists, and I would love you to present the three finalists. Yeah. Let me start with the third place. Raoul uh, Bujo, congratulations, amazing picture. <laughs> and the second place, Saiful Islam. <laughs> and the winner is <laughs> Jeremy John. Ah, yeah. <laughs> So if Jeremy's here, we'd love to invite you on stage to say a few words. Amazing. Um, there, you, you're, yeah, you're yeah. good. You're good. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Jeremy. Congratulations. Tell us, yeah, tell us a little bit more about your winning image. Um, yeah, it's weird. I, when I was taking this picture, I didn't have, definitely didn't have the environmentalist award uh, or anything like this in mind. I mean, Sorry. I take out my camera and do a lot of street photography in Berlin. Yeah. And this was a project that came together um, called an, an Ode to Berlin. And it's about the, the beauty and ugliness of like, the streets of Berlin. Mm. I think this image really cap encapsulated that project well. And yeah, I was surprised that... Um, I guess surprised that it won against all of these other images that seem so uh, environmental. 
but I think this is quite a, a, a poetic um, yeah. image. Absolutely. I think that's why. Yeah, thank you yeah. so much, Jeremy. We love thank you. your and photography. I want to for you. Uh, I'm really grateful to IM for all of their continued support. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. You can, can, you, can you hand it over? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You can tell this is not what we do for a living, but we thank are doing you. our best. You know, I'm just impressed I'm still in these heels. Honestly, COVID did not prepare me for tonight, but we will go on. We will go on. <laughs> okay, next up is one of our longest standing categories and my personal favorite as well, the portraitist. Yeah, so the portraitist, um, again, something a lot of us are very familiar with. We all see faces every single day, particularly on our social media um, feeds. But for us, we see the portraitist as really photography's sculpture. It's the way that, you know, we can manipulate and play with emotions, expressions, identities. And I think what we saw um, this year really did blow us away. You know, it's very easy to get familiar, I think, with portrait photography. And I think every single image, not only our finalists, but in our shortlist as well, they really did um, yeah, show us new, fresh perspectives of portrait photography. 100%. 51,000 submissions again and the 10 finalists are Jonas Albrecht from Hamburg, <laughs> <laughs> Katerina from Italy, <laughs> Alan from Moscow, Ruta from Lithuania, Denise Kuong from Australia, Georgina Abreu from Portugal, Laura Carlson from Germany, Lucian Bernard from South Africa, Eva Setin from Germany. <laughs> Julian Taraputra from Indonesia. Again, our 10 finalists next to each other. A very tough decision. I don't know how the jury did it. <laughs> Let me introduce you to the third place of the category, the portraitist. Julian Taraputra with this great image. <laughs> the second place for the portraitist goes to Ruta Kenstavichu, too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Great photo. And the winner of the category The Portraitist goes to Jonas Albrecht. <laughs> Jonas, if you can come up and say a few words. <laughs> Congrats. Grab your microphone over there. Well done, well done. Ja, vielen Dank. Mega, ich bin mega aufgeregt. Ja, ich, äh, vielleicht können wir übersetzen. Ah, I can, äh, I can ist translate. Mir zu heftig, ne? Not me. <lacht> He's super excited. Yeah. Ähm, ja, vielen Dank. Äh, ja, eigentlich habe ich äh, gar nicht mehr viel zu sagen. Okay, he says thank you. Super and unerwartet, keine Ahnung. Äh, he didn't expect it. Yeah, very excited. Awesome. Can you tell us a little bit, oder kannst du uns ein bisschen was über das coole Portrait sagen? Wurde es wirklich mit Filmen fotografiert oder wie ist es dazu gekommen? Also das ist äh, Charlie aus äh, Schweden und äh, wir haben uns über ja, Instagram, wie es heute so ist, äh, quasi verabredet. Ne? So I asked him if he can tell us a bit about the picture and this uh, is Charlie from Sweden and they, they got to know each other over Instagram, like it happens nowadays. Ja und dann haben wir Fotos gemacht und das ist dabei rausgekommen. Awesome. They, they took pictures and this is what came out. Well, it's Super. wonderful. Thank you so much, Jonas. Thank you. Danke. Das ist für dich. This is for you. Thank you. you just had that. Cheers. People just love giving you microphones, don't they? Sure. Why not? Right. <laughs> Next up, the minimalist. Also, one of my favorites, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. The minimalist. What can I say about the minimalist? I think, you know, as I say, it's been a crazy a few months and The Minimalist really was an opportunity for us all to just find the calm and really start to reflect um, on yeah, the power of photography and, and the way in which it allows us to kind of strip things back in the most powerful way. And I think what we really love at I Am About um, The Minimalist is really the combination of technical skill that it takes to create a beautiful, crisp, clean image, but also the creative eye that is required to look beyond, say, maybe still life objects or um, yeah, landscapes that you see all the time and try and pull out some of the things that are going to really make a standout image. Especially here, being able to play around with lighting, composition, textures and all these 
things that don't really move, like you don't have a model most of the times. Um, let's see. Let's see. What have we got? Forty-three thousand submissions, and these are the ten finalists: Fotini from Greece, Jeffen from France, Peter von Schlem from Cologne, Germany, Mats Wallison from Germany, Christina Pert Masses from Spain, Sotiris Bogas from Greece. Harsh Parekh from India, Klabedini from Albania, Jan Tong from Hong Kong, China, Tian Tianatin from Georgia. Again, our ten finalists. You can see it's a broad mix of creative photography here. The third place goes to, in the category of the minimalist, goes to Fotini Georgia Coppolo. <laughs> the second place in the category of the minimalist goes to Sotidis Bogas. <laughs> and the first place, the winner of the category of the minimalist, is Peter von Schlem from Germany. Congratulations. Congratulations. With this great image that looks almost like a painting. He couldn't make it unfortunately as well, but he left us a message explaining a bit more about his image. Ein herzliches Hallo aus Köln am Rhein. Ich bin Peter vom Schemm und bin überglücklich einer der Gewinner der IEM Award zu sein. Beruflich bin ich im IT-Bereich unterwegs, aber meine große Leidenschaft war schon immer die Fotografie. Vor vielen Jahren habe ich mit einer analogen Spiegelreflexkamera angefangen zu fotografieren und bin heute begeistert, welche weiten Möglichkeiten die digitale Fotografie und die Bildnachbearbeitung bietet. Als ich die Nachricht vom Awards Team bekommen habe, dass ich ein Finalist bin, konnte ich das kaum glauben. Und nun habe ich tatsächlich in der Kategorie The Minimalist gewonnen. Ich freue mich riesig über diese Ehrung und sage Danke. Mein Gewinnerbild entstand an der holländischen Küste. Ich wollte diesmal das Motiv mehr experimentell angehen und spielte mit Langzeitbelichtung und Bewegung. Daraus entstand das auf das Minimalste reduzierte Bild mit Sicht auf die Dünen, Strand und Meereslandschaft. Ich möchte mich an dieser Stelle ganz herzlich für die Auszeichnung bedanken. Mein Respekt und besonderer Dank geht an die Jury, die unter den unzähligen Einsendungen mein Bild ausgewählt hat. Meine Glückwünsche gehen auch an die anderen Gewinner und euch allen wünsche ich noch viel Spaß auf dieser Veranstaltung. Wir sehen uns in der IEM Community wieder. Liebe Grüße, tschüss, sagt der Peter. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> That was sweet. The next, the great outdoors. The Great Outdoors, yeah, presented and sponsored by Red Bull Alum. So this is the second year we have done The Great Outdoors. And I'm always impressed, not only by the photography, but also the people in them. It's a category where we, um, we explore action sport photography and really try to capture those that go to extreme, extreme lengths to capture um, yeah, some of the best in their field. So there's been some yeah, very, very good shots this year. Um, and again, totally different from last year. We had a lot of submissions. 81,000. 81,000 submissions. And these are the 10 finalists. Stefan Kreuzinger from Germany. <laughs> Mario Widmer from Switzerland. Adrian Pujolas Fons from Austria. Dennis from Russia. Song Gan from Beijing, China. Martin from Liechtenstein, Gail from Lithuania, and Andrius from Lithuania, Hafstein from Iceland, Rachen from Thailand. Again, our ten finalists next to each other. 
let's see, let me introduce you to the third place of the category The Great Outdoors. It goes to Stefan Kreuzinger. The second place for The Great Outdoors goes to Adrian Pujolas Fons. And the winner of the category, The Great Outdoors, is Jimmy Song with this amazing photo. <laughs> Again, unfortunately, he couldn't be here tonight, but he left us a video recording explaining a bit more how this image came together. Hello, I'm Sun Gang from Beijing, China. I'm very sad I cannot be there at the ceremony in person, but I'm so happy to receive this honor. When I discovered my photo one, I was both surprised and thrilled. If I'm honest, a lot of luck contributed to this photo. You know, I cannot communicate with fish, and also I could not talk to the free diver underwater. I believe it really was a one-in-a-lifetime magical moment which nature brought me. I feel grateful for the nature. Thank you to the judge. Thank you to IEM. And I just want to encourage all of us to take care of the natural environment together. Thank you. Something that's worth bearing in mind is the winner of the Great Outdoors will automatically become a finalist for Red Bull Alum. So we wish you all, all the luck with the next round of the competition. So those were the six categories and the winners. Now let me present to you the Mobile Photo Award sponsored by Fjordan. Yeah. So the best mobile photo is one that we hold very, very dear to our heart at IM. Mobile photography has always been um, at the core of what we do, starting out in Berlin with one of the first um, mobile photography exhibitions. And then obviously we are fueled by our app and our technology. So for us, we are strong believers that you don't have to have the best camera, the most expensive gear to be an exceptional photographer. So the best mobile photo award was sponsored by Fjorden. Um, Victor who, um, and his team aren't able to make it, but we just want to say a massive thank you to Fjordan because we were able to make um, this year's award even more special. We collaborated with their team to introduce a limited edition, yeah, limited edition and um, professional iPhone camera grip. And we just want to say a massive, massive congratulations to them. They received you know, their full funding within just an hour of launching, so right. or a couple of hours of launching. So well done to Victor and the team and thank you, Fjordan. <clears throat> but yeah, the Best Mobile Photo Award was all about <laughs> trying to find a new angle using, obviously, a mobile phone as your tool. We know that it is a very, very useful resource. We speak with photographers all the time about what they do when they're on the fly and on the move and traveling. And I think this year we saw some, some really, really spectacular um, imagery come through. I think for me, we saw things very, very still and very, very calm. And I think that's just a reflection of the year that we've had. So maybe we run through the finalists. Let me go through the finalists. And again, I find it amazing as well how this line between mobile photography and DSLR or mirrorless photography mm. um, is evolving. Diana Islam, Isam, sorry, Diana Isam from Serbia, Alexander Ekdal from Stockholm, Sweden, Suka from Georgia, Yaroslav from Russia, Yot Shat Singh from England, Ruslan Ivanov from Russia, Khalid from Belgium, Tika from Georgia, Stanislav from Moscow, Russia. John Aaron Kaiga from the Philippines. And the third place for the mobile, photo, mobile photo award goes to Tsuka Katrikade. <laughs> the second place for the, photo, for the mobile photo award goes to Diana Isam. Thank <laughs> you.
And the winner of the category of this award goes to Alexandra Ekdal from Stockholm, Sweden. Again, I couldn't be here, but they left us a rather heartwarming message. Let's yeah. have a look. <laughs> yeah, I want to thank you for the prize, and I'm very happy, of course. And I'm so happy you like my, my work. She's excellent. No, he's Absolutely. Well. <laughs> See you next year. If you come there, promise. We promise. Finally. We promise. <laughs> That'll be us in a year, I think, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> what we've all been waiting for. Exactly, yeah. Good well for, done for to year. everybody. We've come to nearly the end of our ceremony. And this one is definitely the one that gets me the most excited. It is our most prestigious award. And so we um, look over all of the submissions that we've seen. So over 340,000 photos came through. And we then, as a team and along with our jury, select one standout photographer, and that is the I Am Photographer of the Year. And, you know, we've had the likes of Ayush Pashnanda, we've got Kate Fellini here, who is one of our amazing jury members. <laughs> and really, the Photographer of the Year for us is somebody who displays a commitment to photography. So, however they might approach it, it's about really trying to understand their art and really committing to growing, learning, and really pushing visual boundaries. And this year's winner definitely has done that. They started out very, very young and committed their life to actually capturing stories that often don't get heard and don't get seen. They've traveled all across the Americas, which has taken them into some pretty dangerous situations. Um, covering, you know, history-shaping movements and, and protests like Black Lives Matter and anti-drug um, cartel resistance movements, as well as some of the most dangerous prisons as well. And so, without further ado, Let's. please join us in honouring this year's Photographer of the Year. <laughs> Again, congratulations, Thiago Dissan. Okay. Yep, and so that's it, the I Am Awards 2021. I can't believe that it's finally here and that it's nearly over, but we do have, our, obviously, our exhibition, and I can only encourage you to head on over to the east side of the city and really look up close at some of these images. Tiago's got a whole, um, a whole coverage of his recent project. It really is quite spectacular. And so, yeah, congratulations to everybody, and thank you to everyone that took part. Thank you so much. <laughs>